Hey all, Luke here from iGenEntrepreneur.com. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to do a quick video today on reviewing this awesome tool which has just been released to the public. So I've actually been beta testing it for the past uh, few months. And in summary, what it does is it's sort of an all-in-one tool for uh, profit management. So like checking out your profit, um, reconciling inventory orders and really digging into analysis that's going to help you understand how your business is doing. So I'm going to go over a few features but first of all I think the best way to sort of or the best thing to compare it to would be seller board for UK sellers and I suppose inventory labs for US sellers. Um, I haven't personally used inventory labs because it's only available to US sellers but um, I have used seller board and I can say that I definitely do prefer this tool and the reason well, two reasons why one I think seller toolkit can do um, a lot more and it's very promising I think um, as I'll talk about later Norm the owner is very responsive uh, there's been a lot of features that the Bates team have sort of passed on to him that he's improved and implemented um, secondly, uh, I'd say that I had issues with Sellerboard. So at one point, Sellerboard was showing that I was actually 19,000, made 19,000 pounds less than I actually had. Um, obviously that's quite a big deal. And also I had issues when I became VAT registered. So I've been doing lots of tests with Sellerboard and I haven't really had any issues so far. And so, yeah, I think it's, um, pretty awesome. One thing I would say is that um, you might look at this and think, what the hell is going on? These items have been scrambled a bit so that um, I don't really want, I'm happy to show you, I'm pretty open about my figures and that, um, but I don't really want to be giving away all my leads. So there will be some it uh, information blurred and also some items scrambled. So you can see there like the image just been randomized to uh, this SKU and ASIN and um, let's just try and protect some of the items I'm selling. So I think the best thing to do is just walk over um, a few of the features, trying to give you basically the information you need to make an informed decision about whether this um, piece of software is right for you. So I'm just on a dashboard at the moment and you can kind of see there's lots of really useful information. Um, you can see a quick glimpse of sort of profit, sales and all that good stuff. Um, basically find out how you're doing for the day and then there's more of a deep dive into everything else um, into the sort of quick profit and loss for 30 days so you can really customize this to um, seeing different breakdowns for period so if I wanted to see March for example um, I could go here and select uh, March submit and then this will all update for uh, the period here you can see so I really get really detailed analysis um, and you can see what your gross profit for March was obviously you still need to deduct your expenses like any software you're using after that but yeah I think it's really awesome how it calculates things like reimbursements um, other FBA fees like shipping your items into Amazon for example and uh, what I really like about this as well is it includes your prep fees inside the cost of goods so that's all accounted for as well um, another really cool feature I like on the dashboard is the inventory so it shows you what your stock um, so sort of in Amazon and on the way to Amazon that kind of thing is worth so you can see your cost of goods so how much stock is worth by cost of goods potential resale and potential profit based on your um, sell price so yeah I think that's a, a really cool feature because it's easy to look at what you've sold and go cool you're making a profit on that but what about the items that are sitting in your inventory that haven't sold that could be a few months old and um, not making you any money so it's important to factor those in as well <clears throat> next if you go onto the inventory you can see um, sort of breakdown of all your inventory um, filter it's kind of like you can in Amazon by for example unfulfillable um, 
anything that's missing cost of good information you can click on that uh, and update it one thing i will say is the cost of goods information is really easy to enter all you need to do is add your item to amazon and then what um, seller toolkit will do is produce a report all you do is then enter the cost of goods you don't have to enter like the asin amazon name and all of that into a spreadsheet seller toolkit does all that for you so it's really quick and easy to do um, I'm not going to go into this too much, but I think I'll go into a really useful f feature, which is the replenish feature. And this is awesome for highlighting products to replenish. Um, it's all well and good finding new items, but focusing on replenishable items is amazing. I really like this replenish because it's got a built-in calculator um, and it's got links to the store, the source and to sorry, to the Amazon page and to the source. So you can really easily check if it's still able to be replenished. And what I also like is um, you can hide it from um, this page. So say the item's been discontinued or you don't want to buy it for whatever reason anymore, like maybe you've received complaints about the item, whatever the reason is you can hide it so you don't see it anymore. Um, and you can see here, I've got a hundred to work through. Um, and this is awesome for really making sure you're keeping those good selling items in stock if i go into um another awesome feature uh in this notification section you can actually see just what i remember you can you, you'll get you get flagged if um the asin on that uh, sorry the title on asin has changed so you can see here the title has changed on this product and that's important because say you're selling a single shampoo and someone changes the title to pack of three on the end you'll be notified straight away so you can take the appropriate action and this avoids unhappy custom, uh, customers expecting pack of three and then receiving something different or they change the say from they change it from 250 mil to 500 mil which has happened to me before and you get unhappy customers so that's another awesome feature um and honestly, the software is really jam-packed of them. I think as a VAT registered seller, it's really important to mention as well that um, I've found it to be really accurate. Um, and also another great feature for VAT sellers is what you can do is if we go into reports, you can actually generate a report. There are some really useful reports here and this has been added to, but um, as I mentioned there, there's a cost of goods. You can actually load up the correct VAT codes. So for those who don't know, you need to have the correct VAT codes in Amazon. And this is because um, if you're selling a 0% item and a business customer buys it, but your VAT code is 20%, that business customers are going to pay less than what they should because they're paying the VAT exclusive rate. Basically, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, if you have any questions, you can drop me a message, Luke Filer. Um, but in essence, you need to get those VAT codes right on Amazon. And what this report does is based on the, your cost of goods and the VAT rates there, this report will generate an inventory upload file, which you can upload to Amazon and it will give you the correct rates, um, on all of your products. So you need to have those correct, uh, VAT rates on your, uh, cost of goods sheet, which you should have anyway, so you can calculate correctly, um, your profits on seller board. Uh, sorry, on seller board and seller toolkit. Um, otherwise, your profit figures are going to be inaccurate. So, once you've done that, then you can use this to really easily get all those correct VAT codes in Amazon. And this is super, super useful. Um, so, I've talked about these. Another thing you can look at is sort of orders, cost of goods. Um, all is really useful because you can see like sort of refunded removals all details but it's sort of stuff you can see in amazon but a lot easier to um look at i'm not going to go into these too much uh the repricer is on its way it's still not available yet but it's going to have a built-in repricer um and then there's a few really useful features like feedback and um uh reconciliations so if you receive a negative feedback, you'll be shown it here 
and then you can act accordingly straight away. So you can click this button and deal with it. So you can see here that I've received this feedback, which we're actually disputing because it's about the um, product and not about us as a seller. Um, these here both as well, we both disputed because when we sent them, they were in good condition and we believe it's fulfillment related. Um, and in this one here, we actually um, sent the wrong item by accident, but we, we fulfilled thousands of orders a month. So one, one mistake in the past uh, four months isn't too bad. So this is really useful because your feedback is super important to your account. Um, but yeah, it's just another good feature. We're going to the reconciliation. Shipment reconciliation is actually on the way, but right now you can reconcile inventory super easily. And I know a lot of people are using reports to do this, but if you're not, then you should at least be doing that. But what I really like about this um, reconciliation is you can look at, I won't go into too much detail, you can play around with it by yourself, but if you look here, you can look for um, cases where you haven't been reimbursed for items um, and you haven't been reimbursed yet. So if you click on here, what you can do is actually generate a um, case for this really easily. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail here because um, Norm has put together and is putting together guides on all of these sections. So I just want to talk about like, it is really useful to be able to just um, be presented with these, these cases that you need to chase up and once you've created the case so this will generate a template based on what reimbursements are missing you can just click um, create a case and then you can enter the case id once that created so the software seller toolkit will generate the case template um, you create a case id with amazon and you can log it here and you'll see the progress and you can monitor that um, but yeah i'm not going to go into too much detail i think because i don't want to make this video too long um i think as i kind of mentioned at the start the biggest um selling point to me is really norm's sort of customer service he's really working hard to make this as good as it can be and there's been so many changes that have been implemented based on user feedback so for example that vat report and the hiding replenishable items are all based on recent suggestions um I think that kind of covers everything I want to talk about. Uh, if there is anything you'd like to know more about, drop a question and I can answer that. Um, I think finally, if you do want to check this out, um, there is a link in the description where you can get a 14 day free trial. And if you do decide to carry on with your um, subscription, then you'll get 20% off for life with that link in the description, which is an affiliate link. So I'll get some more commission if you use it. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope this has been useful. Cheers.